Well, she was the first Pacific Islander to graduate with a PhD in English from the University of Auckland and is currently a lecturer there. Here to tell us more about her latest book, Tightrope, and performing for the Queen as well, please welcome to the cafe, Pacifica Poetry Warrior, Selena Tusitalamash. Yes! Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. That is pretty extraordinary, the things that you have done. Um, and I want to talk all about performing for the Queen a little bit later on, I think, though. Sure. Um, tell me about your poems. I mean, how did it all start? You mean in my whole life? Yes. Yeah. When did you start, yeah. Yeah. When did you start yeah. going, this could be my jam. Twelve I'll be good. years old. Twelve yeah. years old. And there was a household leaflet drop or booklet drop called Grapevine. It was mm -hmm. a little oh, Christian, Christian magazine. I, that. I do yeah, remember yeah. that, yes. And I wrote a poem about nuclear waste, of course, <laughs> right? And I remember walking uh, through Avondale and someone came up to me and said, loved that poem. And the epiphany was, wow, what is in here can go out there and then reach other people. And that's always part of my kaupapa, mm. really, to engage communities, as diverse communities as possible, get them writing poetry. Brilliant, I love it. Okay, so what is tightrope all about well, then? Tightrope, well, you know, you know when you read certain things and they just won't let you go, certain lines won't let you go? Well, a line, um, s some writing written by Moalai Vau Albert Went, who is kind of the hail forefather of Pacific literature, had the word tightrope in it, and I begin the book with it. And he writes, we are what we remember. The self is a trick of memory. History is the remembered tightrope that stretches across the abyss of all that we have forgotten. Oh, words are beautiful, Ooh, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and you take us on a journey across the world. I do. I your own experiences? Absolutely, absolutely, because that's where I find inspiration just all around me. Do you constantly travel with a notebook or do you do it on your laptop? How do you work? You know what? Like, even in my book, even in my book, as I was <laughs> sitting there, being subjected to TV land, I wrote a poem. I'd Ooh. love to read it to you. Oh, I'd, I'd love, love to hear, hear it. it. This could be it. scary. Well, we'd love to hear it. No, we would love to hear it. And don't be offended, because I'm an artist and I'm just responding. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Curator of the spoken <laughs> word, we love like it. like somebody who says, no offence. <laughs> I mean, well, that's the same thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, no, okay. Okay. This is very lucky. <laughs> TV people are weird. <laughs> Extreme close-ups, focus on chairs. Snapper ceviche, Samoans call it oka. There's a coffee machine, even a barista. A home improvement team, dancing duo off screen. I'm served green tea. Two theatre practitioners discuss their latest show. Megan in canary yellow. Sips coffee. And of course, the advertorial warrior, Holly. Oh! <laughs> Lovely. So it's really observational stuff that you do, isn't it? You look around you and you see things in a slightly different way. This is why I always carry a pen or a pencil anywhere. I often find them or rediscover them <laughs> when I've stuck them in my hair, actually. You know, I've been caught out a couple of times. Well, well speaking of your big hair, did you scare the Western world with your big hair? Yes, <laughs> indeed. I did indeed. So I think I'm going to engage you in a poem yes. called Pussycat, Pussycat. But the backstory was that was 20 minutes before the royal family were to enter to Westminster Abbey. Um, I'm seated front row and across from me are all the um, heads of state. Next to me are Kofi Annan and his wife and David Cameron, the British PM. Oh, yeah, okay. And just diagonally across the royal family would be seated. And there are two empty seats next to me. By the way, I turn to the young woman next to me and say, oh, hi, my name's Selena. She goes, hi, my name's Ellie. And I said, oh, what do you do? And she goes, I sing. She says, what do I do? I said, I'm a poet. And she turns out to be Ellie, Ellie Goulding. Goulding. Wow. You know, I know, my students are like, old, oh, this is Okay, old, right. But there are two empty seats next to me, and a baron is shown, and his wife are shown to the seats. And I hold out my hand after they've settled, and I say, hi, I'm Selena, the poet from New Zealand. And he looks at me, and he looks down at my hand, and he looks straight ahead and says, yes. And so there I am, very public, very visible, and I just pretend to do a kind of yoga stretch. I look across to where he's looking, and I see Sir Lockwood Smith and Lady Alexandra, the, the then New Zealand High Commissioner, and Lady Alexandra looks at me and she goes... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, we're having oh, a 
I'm oh, such a shame. Oh, I could talk to you for hours. So could I. Yeah. This is a really, really <laughs> tremendous read. Uh, I loved it more than I thought I'd like a poetry book, actually. Awesome. Selena, so thank right. you so much. You said Pussycat, Pussycat, you got to read that part. Yeah. 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 Selena's book, A Tight Rope, is out now from all good books.